Hello, and happy 4th of July 2016. Alright, so the purpose of this video was to uh, do a demo on the Panama Guitars Fuego 15 Watt Combo Amplifier. Um, I took some footage of uh, testing out the clean channel and the uh, overdrive slash distortion channels. And uh, as you watch that, I also took the liberty of pulling the grill off of the front of the amp and uh, have the same settings on the guitar and the amp because there have been people in the past that would say that the grill would actually change the tone of the amp. So by pulling it off, um, you can hear the differences for yourselves and make your own decision. I would recommend a set of headphones uh, so you can get the full gist of the uh, sound quality. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, after the uh, demo portion of this video, uh, I have a few more comments that I'd like to make about the uh, amplifier itself. So stay tuned for that. And here you go with the demo.
Okay, so that was the demo. And, you know, whether there was a huge difference with the grill removed or not, I'll let you decide that one. I personally couldn't really tell. But uh, anyway, let's go over some stuff about the amp, the likes and don't likes about it. Uh, keep in mind that this is a, uh, a limited uh, combo amp uh, for the Fuego. And uh, I've, actually, it's the first one I've seen. So I got a discount on it. Uh, got it through uh, Reverb.com. Uh, Panama actually had their own separate page on Reverb. So I got a pretty good discount on it. Uh, now keep in mind, it's only 15 watts. And this is definitely a plus uh, as far as the things I like. This amp is a tube amp. 15 watt, which doesn't sound like a lot. But it is loud as hell. I mean, I, if it had numbers around the... Uh, the volume dial, I was not even halfway to number one yet, and it was loud. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, as far as a uh, a thing that I would like to see in future models, if they make more combo amps, is to uh, have an attenuator built in or a switch on the back of the amp to select between, say, one watt 7 watts and 15 watts. That way, you know, you're not blasting yourself out. Uh, so that's something to definitely keep in mind. Uh, another thing that uh, I, I'm a little kind of on the wall about this one is, uh, and a lot of amplifier companies are doing this, they put a gain on the clean channel. You know, I'm old school. You give me an amplifier with a clean channel. To me, that clean channel is for two things. One, acoustic, uh, playing clean, no distortion whatsoever. And two, is so you can jack your pedals into the front of the amp on the clean channel and have no distortion on your pedals. Now, this particular amp actually has a gain on it, and you have to turn at least uh, about maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of a turn uh, to even get any volume out of the clean channel. Now, that little tiny fraction actually puts a little bit of distortion onto the clean channel. Future models, I would love to see the gain knob and circuitry removed off of the clean channel. I want a clean channel, and that's all I want. No kind of gain on that clean channel. But that's me personally. But if they make more combos, I'd love to see that gone. Uh, another thing uh, I was uh, kind of disappointed about, the uh, bright switch apparently is just for the clean channel only. It does not affect the uh, overdrive slash distortion channel in any shape or form. I would like to see maybe a separate bright switch installed for the uh, overdrive slash distortion channel in future models. Also, LEDs. So when you have the bright engaged the LED comes on to let you know it's engaged, so you're not guessing. Uh, which also brings me to another point, things I would like to see in the future. Let me grab this real quick here. Okay, so here's the foot switch. What do you not see? No LEDs. I like to see some LEDs on this. Uh, also, another thing I would like to see is an extra button. And that extra button could literally be the bright switch. So you can toggle the bright switch on and off right from the foot switch. And one thing I did notice with this foot switch, very, very loud uh, buttons. 
If I can go to a more silent, uh, quiet button, that would be great. And uh, maybe include a 12-foot cable instead of the cable that was provided. Uh, the one that's provided is actually pretty short. If you're in your bedroom and it's a small bedroom, it'll work. But, uh, you know, if you're in a larger room, that uh, cable that goes between the foot switch and the back of the amp is too short. So definitely get uh, a longer cable for uh, future models. So there again, uh, LEDs in the foot switch, bright switch with an LED above it. So if you have it engaged, the LED comes on here. LED for the bright switch on the amp. So when you engage it here, it engages the LED here and the LED on the amp. Um, so that that's one big upgrade I'd like to see in uh, future uh, models. All right, so that was the uh, foot switch. Okay, the other thing, uh, the grill. All right, let me grab that. Okay, so here's the grill. One thing I would love to see, and keep in mind I like the grill. I like the fact you can pull it out easy. What I don't like is, well, I'll just tell you, change this. Go to a smaller logo and actually put it up here on the wood. That way you can get rid of the back piece of wood that holds this on. Uh, needless to say, that back piece of wood is actually blocking some of the sound waves out of the speaker. So if you could put this up here and you get rid of this back piece of wood and you're not blocking any of the sound waves out of the speaker. Which brings me to the back of the grill. All right, I don't know if you can really see this, but this looks cheap as hell. Right around the edges here, if this back piece of wood is gone because they relocated the uh, label on the front, uh, I'm gonna suggest that they put a piece of trim in all the way around on the inside, coming up, going around, to match the same finished wood that's around the speaker. You know, that high quality, high polished uh, stained wood. And then that would cover up a lot of this through here. And, and it just looks, this looks tacky as hell. This just looks like it was, you know, made in a sweatshop somewhere. Which, who knows, maybe it was. I don't know, it wasn't there. Uh, so, that's that's the big thing with the grill. Uh, I do like the colors. Um, I wish they would come out with more colors, such as green and black, orange and black. And, you know, hey, if you want to pull some women in there, pink and black. Uh, you know, right now, they've got red, black, uh purple black which you know the purple looks pretty cool too but uh needless to say we're talking about combo amps and i'm not even sure panama is going to be making combo amps anymore but who knows maybe i'll get a surprise so i know the fuego is by itself older technology as far as the amp goes they got the fuego x out now I have not seen that in a combo amp form. I would love to see it in a combo amp form. So, hey, if they want to make it, send me one to try out and see what I think. Great. Um, so, that is the, the majority of the issues that I'd like to see resolved. And, and please note on the combo amps, it appears that what Panama Guitars is doing is taking the same chassis out of the amp heads rotating them 180 degrees and just throwing a different cover plate on the front. So everything control-wise and channel-wise is in reverse on the combo amps. Uh, you know, if they want to take the time and, you know, make another chassis strictly for the combo amps to where the controls are identical location to the actual heads, that would be great. Uh, I'm, I'm, not kidding you, I spent probably 10 minutes messing with a distortion channel and thought I was trying to mess with a clean channel. Uh, 
before I actually realize that, oops, hey, that's the uh, distortion channel, not the clean. So those are some things that uh, I feel that should be addressed and, and uh, looked into in the future models. Um, and lastly, bias. Uh, there are companies out there such as uh, Randall who have actually put in ports. You could plug your meter in and make bias adjustments. Uh, and it's actually pretty simple to do. I looked at the back of this amp, and I did not take the back uh, piece of wood off, but uh, I did not get any paperwork with this amp either, talking about how to set the bias on this particular amp. And honestly, I don't want to have to open it up that much to uh, be able to set the bias. Uh, so maybe in future models, they can actually put some kind of port on the back of the uh, amplifiers, and not just the combos, but also the heads too, to uh, make it easier for the consumer to uh, set the actual bias for the tubes. Um, so that's something else to consider. All right. Uh, I think I've pretty well wrapped everything up on this one. So that was the, uh, the Fuego 15-watt combo amp. And uh, who knows, you know, maybe... Uh, I'll get an updated uh, Fuego X showing up on my doorstep to uh, try out. And maybe it'll have some of those changes I've talked about, uh, which would be great. But uh, anyway, hope you dig the video. And uh, who knows, you know, maybe just that little bit of info that I talked about uh, that the, unfortunately <laughs> some of the other guys did not mention. Uh, of course, they didn't have the combo. They had the actual heads with uh, separate speaker cabinets. But uh, anyway, hopefully you can make a decision on your own, and maybe my info will uh, help you decide whether this amp's right for you or not. Okay, until next time, peace, rock out, later.